Hello, teacher Jackie here, talking about things that we must, must do in our classroom, not just for VIP Kid, but for any ESL online teaching class. Welcome, I have been teaching since 2018 online. <clears throat> was not a teacher prior to this, but I have grown to love and enjoy the students as well as the purpose for teaching English, proper pronunciation and sentence structure, conversation, reading, and more. So I do have my 120 hour TESOL certification as well as two other certifications from TESOL International and hopefully be working soon on um, more uh, credits for Esau. <laughs> I'm very passionate about this. It's just really kind of grown on me from a side gig hustle to um, see more purpose in it. So with that, I felt like I should share with you, our community, or those who are curious about it, some musts. I have a little post-it note list here so I don't forget. I can ramble and I don't want to waste your time. All right, number one, one thing we must do in our class is smile. Where is my little smile emoji? <laughs> we must smile. So yes, our cheeks should hurt. They should, you know, but be careful not to smile too much unless you're like me and sometimes I'm sleepy and I just, <laughs> because I'm sleepy. <laughs> but um, otherwise, we must smile. That just is a universal language. It doesn't matter what language you speak. A smile, some smile doesn't have to be with teeth, okay? You know, the you know, do this the whole time, but just something pleasant, you know, um, relax the eyes, pull the forehead back and just be pleasant. A lot of us will look at the slides and start reading and then our resting face becomes something else. So off and on as you're able, look at your video and check out your face, but otherwise definitely look at your student's video mostly and um, more, which will segue into my next one, looking at the camera, giving eye contact. Eye contact via video is very different than in person. Clearly, you will look at your student's eyes and you're looking at your student and you're looking at your student and you're looking at your student's video. <clears throat> you should be looking at your student through the camera. I need to take a drink of water. <clears throat> so with that, learn to just stare at the camera and use your peripheral vision to see what they're doing and what you're doing or when you're circling the screen with uh, your mouse or your uh, stylus and stuff. So that will be learned over time, the circling and, and clicking and advancing the next slide while you're looking and giving eye contact. So smile, eye contact. Number three, we need to make sure we articulate Make sure we pronounce very clearly. Sometimes we don't. <laughs> the other part is I put pace on here, which is kind of our, our speed. So sometimes we get with a student who is a fluent speaker and we just start talking really, really fast and it's really, really too much together. And it's just one of those things that we really need to work on. We need sometimes to pause between words. Let them hear the inflection. Let them hear the intonation. Let them hear the pace, the, again, speed of talking. I have a student who reads every word very well. But I literally will tell you he sounds like a computer. And I'm not sure how or why he's learned that. So I told him, listen, listen. And I'll read it, you know, like the dog jumped over the river because he didn't want to get wet. But if the student read it, he would say, the dog jumped over the river because he didn't want to get wet. And the, I mean, he just, and I'm like, great reading. But again, we have to model this before they learn it. One, two, three. Four, a simple background. Now I'm using Zoom and I'm using a Zoom background image. This is not my normal background for class. And so um, it's important that you have a very simple background. I will turn um, well, maybe I won't turn off my background because I'm not sure how wide this goes. But right now, if you can see through my headphones, there is a um, blinds behind me. So the students see literally a white wall in blinds. 
what's fun about it is they see it go from dark to light. The students who um, are getting, you know, going to nighttime and I'm going to daytime. It's fun. Those are conversation pieces. But I will say, you'll be like, well, I teach the young kids. I need to have colors and vibrance and lots of, you know, props or looking, you know, things in the background. You can, but be simple about it. I have had this for years. I had um, bought this little pack and I had five apples in the background. I've had alphabets. I've had my rewards. I've had um, other smiley faces, <laughs> smiley faces and stuff, but keep it simple. I will never forget this amazing veteran teacher who was doing workshops, will not say her name, amazing amazing at what she does, how she does. I probably am a better online teacher because of her. And she was really small, like down here in her picture, and she was really far away. But her background was so busy. Bookshelf, lots of stuff all over the bookshelves. Not messy, okay? Very ordered books, very well-placed. I don't know. I'll just say stuffed animals and what I would call props. And her name and we all had that teacher whatever i now just do my teacher sign hello i'm teacher jackie what's your name and i put it away keep my background simple you know some people now have the shirts that say teacher whatever and that's great too but that is very it's a must that we simplify our backgrounds and keep it simple every student is different with all that uh, background noise even the best student can get distracted um, they may not rebook you because it looks distracting or unprofessional, even for the elementary students. Make sure what you have is intentional and purposeful. You can have a border, you can have colors, you can have letters, you can have um, things. Personally, side personal note, I would stay away from any, any at all maps, period. There's just no need for it. <laughs> all right, so... And my last one of my, wait, one, yeah, five tips <laughs> is appearance. We must appear awake and look ready. I personally pull my bangs back because I need them to see my facial expressions. My um, personal bangs come really far low. And in the morning, it takes too long to put them together. So it is important to have the appearance of simplicity as well, like your background. <clears throat> I'm going to try some hot water one moment. <clears throat> Talking all morning. And I have another class coming up. Let me check my time on it. Yeah, pretty good. All right. So with all of that being said, I will say if you're old school VIP kid, an orange shirt is no longer required, but I would say encouraged. <clears throat> The lipstick is not required, never was, but many of us used a dark. I don't normally wear it, but mm, to help them see our lips. I recently was teaching a class where the student couldn't do the TH. So in VIP Kid, for some classes, you can switch you and the slides. So you go to the big, and I had to go, th th and I showed them that we don't like, we don't really stick our tongue out and say like three, we do, it's really small. And so I could turn side and I could see personally, my lips are very similar color to my skin. So it just helps them see it better. I do have one student who I think is, um, he gets, he goes like this when he first comes in a class. I think <laughs> it's too much for him, but after a few minutes, he gets past it and we start class. So anyway. Um, appearance. Do not do low cut V-necks. Do not do sleeveless. I know um, as independent contracted teachers, we can do really whatever we want, but we also need to represent the company, the product, and serve the, the client in a proper manner, cultural, cross-cultural lines, and, and more. So we need to make sure we respect that. So I try to, even when my shirt, sometimes my shirt will start going like this and I pull it up and over and <clears throat> try to show too much skin, <laughs> if you will. Um, these are young kids and we need to be 
um, professional. I know some of you teach brick and mortar, public and private or charter. Some of you have been teaching and you're like, I wear tank tops and I get poked all the time. That's fine. I'm not saying you're wrong. Again, I'm just here having this video to encourage those who are new, those who are returning, and those who desire to start teaching. So let's recap. Five things I feel, personally, teacher Jackie feels you must do. Number one was smile. Number two was eye contact. Number three was articulate. <clears throat> Make sure you talk at a very good pace. I catch myself teach talking way too fast even to my most advanced students. Make sure you try the intonation while you read, model for the student. Have a very simplistic background, simple props. And then your appearance, keep it clean, keep it appropriate and keep it professional, even with a t-shirt. <laughs> I typically sometimes will also do a scarf over this. It's really cool looking. The kids wear uh, usually a bandana kind of scarf for their um, uniform. And so we kind of match sometimes. And I can accent this with other scarves with various orange colors. <clears throat> so if you want to feel like you're dressing up or you're that teacher who likes, you know, Halloween or Christmas or, you know, help with the holidays and, or with the lessons going on. Um, I really prefer to have one right now because this neck is getting stretched out. And which I will say, I'm going to slightly plug on Etsy. I just ordered a shirt that has VIP Kid Teacher. I've never ordered from this person before. I don't have it yet. When I do, I'll let you know. That's pretty much it, but I will have this little bonus optional part. Oh, which I already did. Never mind. I already went over that. <laughs> the option was, again, the orange or the lipstick uh, for class. I hope this video was helpful and it was value added and not just some rambling, rambling video on YouTube. I really am here to just share what I do. I know for me, I'm where I'm at because of other teachers before me that shared what worked, what didn't work, what to try. This is like personal professional development as well as peer communication and, and uh, environment uh, community. There we go. And that's important to me. So welcome. And I hope you already or will subscribe, like, share, but most of all comment. Did this video help you? Did it not help you? Should I just stop making videos? <laughs> Let me know. And otherwise, I again appreciate your time. And I will just give you a thumbs up. I will give you a smile. And why not give you a fun blue star? Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>